Okay, so the first thing you've done is you've traced your plastic square on the piece of paper. And just in case you're wondering, this plastic square is blue, but before you use it, if you notice, if you rub your finger on the edge, the blue will peel off. And if you do that on both sides, you will have a scratch-free, sorry about that, a scratch-free area that is now a clear plastic sheet. So in case you were wondering why I was giving you blue stuff to do. Okay, um, so you've got your square outlined and then you've got your design drawn on there already. So I am, obviously I don't have a ruler with me, I am just trying to do a quick demonstration for you. And I'm just going to do a real simple design of a cross that is not very even, but that's okay. You guys are just getting the idea of it. Um, I want you to keep in mind, you don't want to do any small areas like that. If you do a small area like that, when you come in with the black liquid lead, it's just going to fill that in solid. So don't do any small areas like that. I'm going to try to just keep it big. Um, on the example, if you guys were able to see that video the other day, um, the lady an outline and so you could if you wanted to put a border around yours you could do that as well I would suggest you use a ruler it makes it look so much nicer so again I just want you to see some of the techniques and just give you guys some of the tips so we'll just pretend there's like some mountains and I'm gonna leave it as simple as that what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this liquid gallery glass and I am going to show you guys how to do this. So now you've taken the blue sheets off. So let's get those off. And what you guys are going to need to do is, while these are drying, you are going to need to set them on the back counter somewhere. So we'll try to get some area cleaned up. They take, it says about 24 hours to dry. So this is going to be... Um, the only step that you do today will be the liquid lead and make sure this gets in the trash because nobody wants to pick up after you guys. Okay, so I am, since I'm at a little bit of an angle, going to use a little piece of tape and I am going to tape my clear plastic on there. You don't need to because you were working straight down. I am just trying to set it up for you. Okay, so I take my liquid lead and if you saw the lady on the video, she mentioned that you just touch it straight to there, to the plastic, and you drag. And that is one way you can do it. I find that, and this may work for you, it may not, I like to take it and I like to squirt a little bit in the corner. Once it's all down, it makes it easier if it's all down to the bottom. I'm going to squirt it in one area. And then I'm going to lift it up, and so it's hovering above the plastic. And then I stop squeezing, and I just touch it to the corner. And that gives it a little bit of a steadier hand. Now, I've got a light shining, so it does give it a weird shadow. But that is a shadow on the side. It really does look a lot straighter than it is right now. So I'm going to fill in or copy over all of my lines. And I've done this so many times before, it's going to take you guys a little longer. That is okay. The quicker you move your hand, the straighter the line is going to be. I don't know. can't get too close. It gets blurry. But the straighter the line will be. So I'm going to fill in all these lines. And once I'm done and the whole thing is set, I'm going to put it on the back counter. So let's see if I can pause this.